Hi everyone, it's Naz. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock and recover data from an Android smartphone which has a broken or cracked touchscreen that's not responsive. It doesn't matter if the screen is cracked or the touchscreen is not responding, as long as the screen can display, you can use this method. On my Sony Xperia Z3 Compact, the screen is able to display but the screen is not responsive. So I'm going to be using this method to gain access to the data. My phone has videos from my wedding day which isn't saved anywhere else, so I was relieved when I found out about this easy fix. It took me a long time to find this solution, so please like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's get on with it and see how it works. You'll need an OTG cable or an OTG dongle for this method. OTG stands for on the go. These cables are usually used for transferring data from one phone to another. On one end of the cable, it has a USB type C or a micro USB, depending on what your phone uses. On the other end, it has a USB female. OTG cables come free with some of the newer phones, but if you don't already have one, I'll leave links in the descriptions for both types. My Sony Xperia Z3 Compact uses a micro USB OTG cable. It didn't come with a box, so I had to purchase one online. My Samsung Galaxy S10 uses a USB Type-C cable, which came free with the phone. So I don't, luckily, I don't need to buy one. You'll also need a USB mouse. I believe wireless mouse also works but it needs to have a USB dongle. Now to unlock your phone and access the data just connect your USB mouse to the OTG cable and from there connect the OTG cable to the phone and you should be able to use the mouse. Oh, You should be able to use the mouse to unlock the phone. Uh, it's a bit awkward using the mouse but you'll get the job done. Um, once you have it unlocked, uh, connect to your Wi-Fi and you should be good to go. From there, just back up whatever, uh, whatever pictures, uh, emails and everything, uh, just back it all up. If the mouse doesn't work on the first go, just restart your phone with the mouse connected and it should work. This works on all Android phones. I've tried this on my Galaxy S10. It worked on the, on the Galaxy S10 and I've tried this on a few other Android phones, it also worked there. Leave a comment and let me know if this has worked for you. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel if this has helped you out in any way. See you in the next video.